I'm at the Belmore today having a pedicure. I'm so sorry, I had nail varnish, it looks disgusting. It's fine, I'm just going to lift your foot up, I'm just going to give them a little spray. Decontamination. That's it. And we will wipe a little with a custom off. And then we're going to give them a cut and file to even them all out. How short do you normally like your nails? I normally take them back to the skin. I'm really weird with feet. Um, I just never know what to do with them and the, the little nail doesn't really paint. grow much, <laughs> does it? It's like a pretend nail. Okay. Painful. I won't cut them back quite as short as you would because <laughs> they will, they, you will find that obviously you could end up with ingrown toenails cutting them so short and oh, wow. tender nail bed. But I'll give them a good trim down for you. Oh, thank you. The first product I put on was just a sanitizer. Give the feet a check over to make sure there's no contraindications like verrucas or anything because we wouldn't be able to do a pedicure because it's contagious. Okay. This is just going to gently but effectively remove any of that dead skin. And then I'm going to go over the hand one as well just to finish off any little areas. So I'm just buffing off any of the excess. Just to give it that smooth finish. That feels really soft. Good. I'm just going to put some cuticle softener on the cuticle. This just helps to soften the cuticle so when I come to put the remover on it, they're all really nice and soft and to push back. It's nice and orange. Then I'm just going to give that a little massage into the cuticles. And then I'm going to just roll your trousers up a little bit better and then pop it into the foot spa for me. I'm just going to massage them nicely. That's lovely. Dry the foot off. I'm just putting some cuticle remover on, which is just going to help soften all that cuticle so that I can push back and remove. Which automatically makes the nail look longer and gives a cleaner finish when you're painting this nail. And I'm just going to snip off. Thank you. And then just trim off any extra. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the rest with the rest of the nails. So that's all the cuticles done, and now we're going to do a nice foot massage. So now we're going to prep for the painting, so we're going to actually wipe over the nail, give it a little buff off to make sure there's no excess face coat and your first cover afterwards. Both feet now with your cuticles done, they're cut and filed cuticles, massaged and face coat ready for the colour. Beautiful. It's amazing how just putting some nail varnish on makes my feet look so feminine. But to start with, they're just oh, like claws, I don't know, I'll hide them away all year. I'm wait to get them out now. And it makes you feel so much better when they look pretty. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is paint the rest of them. Okay, so now you've finished, you've had your two coats of colour and your top coat. They look gorgeous. They're so perfect in the shape of them as well. It just makes such a big difference. They're lovely. And how long will they last? Pedicures, you tend to find them grow up rather than chip off. So most people will mm -hmm. find you'll get a good four weeks out of them. Wow. We can't guarantee it, but generally a good two to four weeks you'll find that they're still looking pretty good. Oh, lovely, thank you. Again, they will take about an hour to dry, but we've got the drying station down here to help speed up that process. But ideally, you don't want to keep the boots on today. Yeah, them. you just yeah. need to keep them nice and straight and clear. Lovely. So I've had a lovely pedicure today. My feet feel so revitalised and they look human. <laughs> so if you want to have yours done, come down to the Belmore.